Okay guys, from the title of the video, you should have an idea what this video is about. It's actually something I was debating whether or not to talk about. Uh, but I think it's still important because it was a fishing experience and something I would like to relate to you guys. Um, maybe it might give you a, a, some insight or some maybe get you to take some extra precautions when going out on the water. So you know, I thought I would share it with you guys. Basically, an incident happened on our third trip out with the kayak to Five Islands to catch carrot or Spanish mackerel. You would have seen the last two videos where we had some great catches out there. Um, caught some really nice Spanish mackerel on artificial laws. It was a great experience. Fishing was excellent. I mean, catching those fish on artificial is always a great experience. So having the success that we did, we decided to make a third run to try to catch uh, the Spanish mackerel. This may be about a week after, I, I believe. Um, I mean, we had two trips without any incidents, without any issues. It was pretty good, pretty cool. We caught some nice fish. Uh, but on this third occasion, I mean, the fishing was a little bit harder, but we did catch a huge Spanish mackerel, a huge carry, bigger than the one we caught in the last video. Literally bigger. I think it would have beaten by a two or three pounds. So that was the biggest Spanish mackerel I ever saw in my life in real. It was a nice one. So we had that epic catch. So we had to make our way back from Five Islands to the kayak center, the about. On the way back, as we started to leave, the water started to get very rough. I mean, you would have seen the last video, it did get somewhat choppy. It was even worse than that. So we were heading back in. It was pretty early, maybe around half 10, 11. Um, we were heading back in to probably fish a little bit closer to shore. But something else on that day, there was a lot of boat traffic. So come back in, the rough water coupled with the constant boat traffic, it made things difficult and a little bit sketchy. Now when you're in the kayak and a boat passes, uh, the wake the boat makes is one of the most dangerous things. I mean, I think some, some people, they don't see the kayak maybe or they don't have any regard for the kayak in the water. No slowing down whatsoever. They speed past, they make huge wakes. And that is where it could lead to serious problems. So on the way back, the wind was blowing, the water was rough, the current was strong, pushing the kayak one way, and then there was boat traffic. So about midway between Five Islands and back to where Alcoa, the long jetty is, maybe a little closer to the jetty, the water took a turn for the worse. We were making a team, but then this boat came speeding up to us, speeding. And when the boat came speeding, we had to turn and go back towards Five Islands because we had to avoid the wake. So we turned and headed back, maybe about as fast as we could, and water did get in the kayak at that point in time. But nonetheless, we, we, we thought we were over the worst of it. So we turned back around, that must have cost us maybe five to 10 minutes to go and come back. And that time the water got even worse. So just outside of the Alcoa jetty, maybe 50 yards or so, current was strong, water was choppy. Now, the kayak started to, I mean, has, I don't know how to describe it. It was like, if it was a, kind of like a, a washing machine kind of thing, a zoo zoo. Because when the boat passed, I said we did get some water in the kayak. So like now it's the extra weight, plus we had the gas engine, which was extra weight as well. And we were starting, starting to snake along the water. I knew things were kind of looking kind of sketchy. So I, you know, I started to take my bag and I was trying to get my stuff into a plastic bag. Um, so in case water more water came into the boat, that they would be safe. I even took off my GoPros, put it in my bag. I had my phone and I was searching for my Ziploc bag where I usually keep my phone in. And I was going to put everything in there. But while searching for that, all of a sudden, a big wave hit the side of the kayak with the water in it, and the kayak flipped. This is what I'm telling you, the kayak flipped over. So everything, whatever we had on the boat, the rods, the, my phone, my GoPro, everything flipped over, and we were in the water. Now, I had on my life jacket, of course. I would never go on a kayak without a life jacket. That's one of the points I want to make. So you guys always take your precautions i'll talk a bit, a bit a bit more about that shortly and well zizi didn't have on his life jacket but he managed to hold on to the kayak and get back up on top of the wrong-sided kayak now in doing so he kind of damaged his shoulder a bit but he did make it back up i had on my life jacket i was hanging on to the side of the kayak now let me tell you that was a scary experience i mean i had on my life jacket i knew i wasn't going to sink or anything like that but still 
at the point of time when it happened, it was scary. Now, luckily, we, in, we were in the water a couple of minutes. I mean, I'm not sure how long it was, but like I said, there was a lot of boat traffic. There is a lot of boat traffic there. So, you know, we, I was almost sure that a boat would come and, and see us shortly. So more or less a couple of minutes after, there, was, there were two guys coming in a boat. I signaled them and they came across and they, they, right, they pulled us up. We jumped in their boat, we tied up the kayak to the behind their boat, and we started to look to see what we could find or recover from on the kayak. The amazing thing is the khaki which was in my bag which was open somehow managed to stay in the bag and the bag hooked up to the, the, the kayak i lost my phone i lost my other gopro um, we lost a lot of tackle lost a couple of rod and reels as easy setups um, like more or less everything i wasn't strapped down it was gone we did drive around for a few minutes picking up what we could we got a couple of tackle boxes a couple of the rods hooked up um, so we did recover that and like I said, luckily those guys passed in great time. We weren't in the water for long, pulled us up and we were okay. Most important, we were okay. Um, those other things could be replaced. I mean, it does take some doing. Uh, but again, I want to share this experience with you guys. Just to say that the whole things could happen on the water so quickly. I mean, we did two trips before, no issues, great time out. Had some rough water, we managed it excellently. We caught a lot of fish and no issues, no problems whatsoever. This third time out, there was a rough water coupled with the boat traffic and that one particular boat that, you know, sped up to us and gave the big wake and that kind of threw, off, threw us off course. That coupled with the gas engine and the extra water on the boat, the kayak was weighted down too much. Now some better precautions could have been taken. Uh, we should have had a bilge pump maybe to get the water out faster, uh, maybe some stabilizers on the kayak, which we will be doing all these things eventually because you do learn from your mistakes. That is the key thing, learning from your mistakes and we will get back out there eventually. Might take a little while to get the access from wife and family and thing because it was a scary experience. But luckily, both of us remained in, intact. We were good to go. Lost a few things, um, but we were okay. So the point of this video, guys, is one, always take all precautions necessary when going out any water. Whether you've done it five times, 10 times, 100 times, or the first time, get yourself a life jacket, whatever the boat is, Get yourself a life jacket and try to wear it on at all times the other thing is get some airtight or watertight storage cases phone wallet gopro whatever you have to carry in the boot have that in place for sure and finally you know learn from the situations that you're in we definitely learn from the situation i mean i don't think we'll ever flip in a kayak again i mean i'm hoping that never happens because we will put things in place stabilizers, bilge pumps, lessen the weight, adjust the seats, adjust the seating, everything that would have, we thought might have been off, we learned from this experience. So that's the three main things, guys. Take all precautions necessary. Use, get your safety gear. Never take anything for granted. You know, have some communications on you and dry, airtight, your phone, whatever it is. And as well, learn from your mistakes. So you probably realize now you've seen a lot of sit down videos. It is because I lost my GoPro with my head strap. And that's why I have no GoPro again to record. Well, I had no GoPro again to record any videos. Luckily, Mr. Brett Thompson, he has a fishing channel. He lent me his old GoPro Hero 3. So I'll be trying to get some videos done on that for now until I get a newer GoPro. Uh, the quality might not be as 100, but at least it's something to bring the footage to you guys. I have this camera, which I use here. I, it's it's um, not waterproof. It can't, um, like I don't have a head strap for it. So I could do a lot of sit down videos. So I plan on doing a lot more rigging, um, beats, um, aquarium updates, all these things I could do with it until I get back in a gear with that other GoPro. So now guys, is even a better time to support the channel. Uh, buy yourself a hat. <laughs> more hats here buy is I get go back the GoPro faster. Like I said, material things could be replaced. Um, it does set you back a little bit, but luckily we were able to come out of it with not any major issues. So again, I like to reiterate, be careful on the water, guys. Take all precautions. Don't take it for granted. You could have done it time and time again, but one day something could happen, something could go wrong, and you could end up in a situation where you don't want to end up in. So my simple advice is to think, plan, get what you need to get. What is the fancy life jacket, whatever it costs, how much money, so you're more comfortable. That's more important than having a fancy rod and reel. 
So get that first before you want to go on the boat and fish. So I just thought I'd share this experience with you guys. I mean, you've been watching the channel. You guys are part of the, the Coast M fishing, crew fishing family. Whatever, you know, I experience, I like to share it with you guys. And, you know, hopefully it helps you to get a better understanding of what could happen out there and take any precautions necessary. So look out for more videos. The plan is as well, I want to be posting more often. Like I was safe now, you're going to see there are a few more sit-down videos than normal. But when I get back that full, that um, new GoPro, I try, try and post at least three videos a week as much as possible. And once I have a video, I'm going to be posting it. And I can't thank you enough for your continued support. So thanks as always for watching, guys. Keep fishing. Be careful out there. Fish on.